Okay, so I've been following a tutorial on how to set up Minecraft um, on the Pi 4 and uh, I spent well over an hour and I've just realized that I was supposed to be using not Raspbian, which I had, uh, and I followed all the steps for Raspbian and I'm getting the same error as this person here. So I think they might be doing exactly the same as me. So let's go right up to the top and uh, let's properly follow this. So was tested using uh, Sake's Gen 2 64 bit. So you're actually downloading an image to um, load on the Pi 4 uh, and it's, it's not Raspbian, it's something else. So if I, Google image, update 19th of August, new release, please see this, this post because it mentions the Raspberry Pi 4. So click on that. So Raspberry Pi 4 image. Save that on the desktop. So select image. Desktop. Open. Okay, doesn't seem to mind it, so let's flash that. Okay, so I've booted up and I've logged into the Wi-Fi. Uh, so let's copy the instructions by opening a terminal. So we can left click on here, right click on the text and copy it over. Hit return. Okay, so that's done. So let's copy the second lot of text and paste it in. Okay, so you need to log in with a desktop account. I've got my daughter's one that I can use. says it will receive an error and then close the launcher. So I hit play. Okay, so it closed on its own. Uh, so now it says install Optifine. Now I think I'm still waiting for something to happen here. Yeah, I think that's still running. So let's still copy the text from here anyway. Don't know how long I wait for this. Oh, it's doing something that. Oh, there we go. I didn't wait for that to happen before. Um, so I'm going to close that launcher and then install Optifine. Okay, so now number four, and just run Minecraft launcher. So select Optifine, which is already on, and hit play. Okay, that's crashed. I'll wait for this to do in previous attempts so I've not waited for this and it obviously is still doing something. Uh, 
Okay, so number five. This looks like it's going to launch a text editor. Yeah, and it's telling you to change these three bits. Uh, and it says you may need uh, speech marks for special characters. I'm, a, I'm guessing it would be either side, but I'm going to try it without speech marks. Because I've got an underscore in the name. So pop your email in. Uh, username and then password. So let's hit save on that and exit. And select number six. And return. Okay, so I've not got this far before, and I suspect it's because I kept shutting down the terminal window before uh, it did many other things. Okay, looking good. Right, so I've got to set the, uh, what does it say? Change options in Minecraft to reduce render chunks to three. Render distance. Do you think it's that? I could certainly lower that, couldn't I? Let's go for fast. Right, I guess that's what they mean by is three the lowest? No. Hit done. Hit done. Single player. Okay, so I'm in. It's running a bit slow. Oh, it's picking up. So what I haven't done is changed any of the settings uh, from a speed point of view. And I would tend to probably turn everything down. But uh, yeah, we are running. So if I hit escape, does that mean I can go full screen? Yeah, right, so that's full screen on the TV. So I would probably th say you're better off to mess around with the settings, but that's definitely, it is running, and this is my, or third or fourth attempt. I'm not getting any sound. Oh no, I am getting sound. It's just really quiet. Right, let me put my mic by the tally. Okay, so I'm not gonna leave the sound uh, up on the TV. I'll turn that down for, for the purpose of this, but what I really need to do is go back in and set everything as low as possible. Graphics fast, smooth lighting off. Oh, shaders are off, right, okay. Oh, that's looking faster. I don't really play Minecraft. My kids um, have played Minecraft, uh, and my son still plays it now, but he's got an i7 and a 5700 XT, so he doesn't have to mess about with lowering settings. Top colours off faster, clouds off, we'll leave stars on. That's better. Now it feels playable. Oh look, I'm carrying a flower. Yeah, this, this feels much more playable now. And I haven't overclocked yet. Uh, and the overclocking in this, oh, here we go, that. Got some animals, chicken, want a flower? <laughs> right, so let's save and quit. Uh, quit the game. So I guess when you want to go back in, 
you are just selecting this text. So let's copy that text. Let's go for Abbey Word. Right, we'll save that. I mean, it will say it will stay in terminal as the last uh, version you've used. Oh, what's going on here? Desktop. Right. Let's close all this down because it's going to actually it's going to close anyway when I apply the settings. But if you go into applications uh, and you go into settings and where is it? Uh, Raspberry Pi config tool. And then go for Pi 4 tuning. Now, I tried Extreme earlier on and it was turning itself off. So I think I'm going to go mid for now. Hit re So, yes, keep using these settings because everything seems to be all right. Uh, and we'll close that down. So, if I open a terminal window and then press up. I think that's the last command that I need. Oh no, so I've got to go up twice. CD Minecraft, run up to find. There you go, so it remembers it in the terminal for, for starting it again when you need to. Okay, so single player. Yeah, my selected world is saved fine. Let's go full screen, back to game. It looks decent. Oh, I'm a chicken still there, that. But turned around this time. Okay, so it does work. Uh, Minecraft running on the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig. I'm right at the top of a snowy mountain at the moment. And, uh, and it looks to be running quite nicely. There's probably still a lot of settings that you could change. You could certainly run it at a lower resolution. Uh, and I can see some coal there. And I think, where did I see? Oh yeah, down here there's a waterfall up. That's a bit too far to jump, I'm guessing. Should we jump? Oh, it's got away. Oh, I didn't know that much. A bit of a closer view of the waterfall. Not very many animals around up this height. Uh, but uh, I hope you like this. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.